welcome back to another match day vlog. I'm um, running a bit late thanks to PKP, hour delay, but we are finally in the city of Poznan. Uh, it took me five hours almost. But today's game is Lech Poznan against Legia Warsaw. Last year I went to this game to find out if this is an actual derby or is this all overhyped by the media. Because if you check all the media, it will say Derby of Poland, Derby Polska, the Polish El Clasico. Last year I was at the match in Warsaw. And to be honest, it was very underwhelming in terms of football. There was no intensity or aggressiveness like in an actual derby. And in the stands, it was also very timid. But last year I found out there in Warsaw, there's a certain group of people that make life very difficult for visiting fans. We were able to see an example of that last weekend with Widzew. However, I don't think here in Poznan it will be the same. Kolo Horse is actually growing on me, so I'm expecting a very good atmosphere. It will be a sold-out match, 40,000 people. Also for the away sector with 2,000. So let's find out if this is actually really a derby. I know there's a rivalry between those teams, two most successful teams in the last 10 years, I think. So yeah, let's see if it's an actual derby or something fabricated by the press, just like the Klassiker in Germany. Already I see a, lot, a big difference. There's much less police around. If this was our then this street here behind me will be full of police. Okay, enough talking. It's almost an hour till kickoff, so let's get inside. Yeah. Entire Wilko Polska is coming to Poznan tonight. So we are inside. It went very quickly. Now to climb these fountain the stairs. Hungry, got the hot dog set, 29 zloty. So good. I like the panini bread. So there will be a big tifo. The amount of time and effort they put into this is amazing. So the difference on the table is six points between those both teams. At the moment, Yaga is in first place because they're drawing 1-1 at home against Rakov. It's another big game today. So there's some pressure on both teams. Uh, Gonzalo Feo will miss the game because he got suspended for his so many yellow cards he gets. The stadium is slowly filling up. I'm excited. Let's go. There's fireworks everywhere. Rakov and Yaga just dramatically drew in the final minutes, which means Yaga is currently in first place, but only in one point ahead. So.
Also das wird Nice delayed penalty. That will definitely not help with the conspiracy theories. Legia controlling the ball more, uh, finding the free players in the, in the lines. Looks like the Legia fans are having problems at the gate. Uh, I think maybe just a bit more than half are in now. They remove the banners, not singing. Let's see what will happen in the second half. If they all can get in or. This is it. Speaking of it, I just see that they're putting the banners back up. So I guess they're inside mostly. Of course, I missed it when I was turned to the field.
one eternity later. Good morning from a foggy Katowice. We're back. I have my juice, but we haven't done a review in the park since for a while. On the field, second half started off where the first ended. Legia, but also Lech now were able to find spaces between the lines. And that led to some nice uh, attacks. The first goal from Afonso Sousa was an example of that. Very nice combination between multiple people. But yeah, it made for a nice open game. It was very fun to watch with Lech taking the win and the first place again. In the stands, Kolochors didn't uh, disappoint. Massive display on the start of the game at the Polish flag with Poznan on it. And that was in also the sector banner with the eagle. Very impressive. The time, the dedication that they put into it. Legia were having problems getting into the sector. They already had a bad day because their train caught fire on the way to Poznan. But it looked like in the second half they were complete and they were vocal. But yeah, now the conclusion. Is this a derby? In my opinion, it isn't really. There's a big rivalry between the two teams, like I mentioned earlier. That cannot be denied but I was missing the derby atmosphere. Trust me, when Lega comes here in Silesia, even Piast, the atmosphere goes up 10 times. Maybe it is missing like a social background to it, other than just football. But if this is considered derby, they need to change the name, because I don't think Derby Polska or the Derby of Poland is fitting for this game. It's clearly just a marketing gimmick from the media to hype this up. But at least I can say I've seen this derby now from both sides and last night's game was definitely better than last year's. But that was it for this weekend. I hope you have a very good Independence Day weekend and then we will be back next week. So like and subscribe, you know what to do and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.